free reading room, Mother Goose program, or rather Tales for Tots. Fry Free Reading Room has wonderful programs for all ages throughout the week. So by all means, visit our website, frylibrary.org, and look up the calendar and see what is available to you and your family. So last week, we didn't have much of a, a success in bidowing, so I am going to repeat one book that's very important today. So anyway, I'm so glad you're here today, and I hope the caregivers are here to support us and and absolutely keep me in tune, most important. So here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Well, some of us are going to play school this week. What do you think, huh? Some of us are. Maybe you'll be going next year. So here's a little llama, and it's her first day. Oh, little llama, and here comes mama. Mama, mama llama. You know the llamas, right? Oh, little llama, will you get up? Will you get up? Will you get up? Little llama, will you get up so early in the morning? Oh, no, no, mommy, I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. No, no, Mama, I don't want to get up so early in the morning. Oh, come on, you'll have a good time. Come on. School is a lot of fun once you get too used to it. Oh, little llama, will you get up? Will you get up? Will you get up? Little llama, will you get up so early in the morning? Okay, Mom. Okay, Mama, I will get up. I will get up. I will get up. Okay, Mama, I will get up so early in the morning. That is the baby llama, right? Right. The yummy llama, right. Well, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> what did that llama have to do when she got up, huh? She had to get ready for school. This is what we do every morning, right? <clears throat> but what if that llama woke up earlier at quarter to one? When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to one, you want to have a little fun. What do you do? Ha 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 ha. What did you do last week? You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to two, and you want to find something to do, what do you do? You brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to three and you want to hum fiddle ID, you brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to four and you think you hear someone knocking on the door, what do you do? You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. <coughs> Sorry. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to five, and you can't just can't wait to come alive, what do you do? You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. Wizard, do you have a tip for all of us today? Well, I have one for the caregivers. The little children will follow along, right? As you go about your day, <clears throat> stop for a moment and listen to the sounds that you hear. <clears throat> Ask your children what they hear. <clears throat> Talk about what you hear. Try to imitate the sounds, even little activities like this one helps your children develop an ability to hear and play with the smaller sounds in words. Most important, most important. Well, this book I read last week, but the, the recording was terrible. So I think it's important to read it again because it was a darling book about going to school. Llama Llama Mrs. Mama by Anna Dudney. 
Harris Lama. Not sure about school. No, she's not. No, she's not. Mama, Mama, this is Mama. There she is in bed. Or he, rather, he's a little boy. Mama, Mama, warm in bed. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. Mama, school begins today. Time to learn and time to play. There's Mama waking up her little boy. Make the bed and sun and find some clothes. Brush the teeth and blow the nose. Whoops, oh my. Eat some breakfast, clean the plate. Oh my, we're running late. Drive to school and park the car. Tell the teacher who you are. Now, the zebra is the teacher here, right? right. Meet new faces, hear new names. See new places, watch new games. There, little llama's right by his mommy. Oh. Hang the coat and say goodbye. Llama, llama, feeling shy. She's a little feeling a little bit strange there. Mama, llama goes away. Llama, llama has to stay. No, yep, it does. Well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, strange new teacher. Strange new toys. Lots of kids and lots of noise. Well, yeah, that's true. What would Llama like to do? Llama Llama feels so new. Build a castle out of blocks. Make a rocket from a box. Llama Llama shakes his head. Llama Llama walks away instead. Here's a little chug a chew with a captain and a crew. Would the llama like to ride? Llama Llama tries to hide. Reading stories on the rug. Kids are cuddled, sitting snug. Would the llama like to look? Llama Llama hates that book. I don't think he does really. No. He just doesn't want to go over there. <clears throat> Time for lunch. Now find a seat. Llama Llama doesn't want to eat. Llama Llama makes a little moan. Llama Llama feels alone. Llama, this is Mama so. Why did Mama Llama go? It's too much for little Llama. Oh, Llama Llama, this is Mama. Ooh, a lot of crying there. Yep. Oh, don't be sad, new little Llama. It's okay to miss your Mama. But don't forget, when day is through, uh, she will come right back to you, of course. Llama Llama, please don't fuss. Have some fun and play with us. Put on coats and run outside. See the playhouse? Try the slide. Tag and jump rope, hide and seek. Close your eyes now. Do not peek. Oh, so he's starting to get into the game, isn't he? Look, he looks like he's, he's kind of having a good time here chasing his friends. They are new friends, aren't they? Yes. So you make new friends. Now it's time to draw and write. Great big pick. <coughs> crayons. Colors, right. Where do we write with our crayons? On the paper, right? Absolutely. Take some paper from the stack. Oh, look. Who's that? Mama, Llama, you 
came back. Of course she did. Teacher gets a book goodbye hug. Wave to friends on reading and rug. Climb the playhouse with a slide. See if mama fits inside. Oh, what a great mama climbing underneath there and playing with her son. Mama finds out something new. He loves mama. And school too, of course. Of course, of course he does. He has a good time at school and he loves his mama and loves to be with her too, right? Sure. Well, I see here, huh, there's the schoolhouse that they were in. So we'll take that away now. <laughs> and I see some colorful leaves up here. Pretty soon we'll be seeing a lot of really colorful leaves and rye. The leaves are softly falling down. They're red and orange, yellow and brown. Can you do that with me? Can you pretend you're a little leaf? The leaves are softly falling down. They're red and orange, yellow and brown. Let's see if you can go out when it stops raining and see if you can find any color leaves. Well, a lot of farmers are, are picking pumpkins right now. Maybe pumpkin pies, and Halloween jack-o'-lanterns, right? Well, here, people eat pumpkin. Sure they do. It's, it's a vegetable. It's a vegetable. And here's Peter. Oh, he loves pumpkin. Yum, yum, yum. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. Had a wife. Where's that wife? But couldn't keep her. Put her in a pumpkin shell. And there he kept her very well. So here we go, this is kind of fun though. Here we go. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife. Woo! But couldn't keep her, put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. It's kind of a cute little house, isn't it? Like a little playhouse. <clears throat> but I don't know whether I'd want to live there. So anyway, let's see what we've got here. <clears throat> I'm going to put my little house back because <clears throat> around this time the fire trucks usually come and they usually talk about fire safety in the schools and in nursery school and in play schools too. Sure. Very important. And here's my book by Pat Hutchins. Changes, changes. Look at the little block people. Do you have a set of blocks that look like that? I used to have a set like that when I was little. Changes, changes. Ah. I would say, what do I do? I brought my, my wet um, cloth somewhere. I guess I can't bust it. I'm sorry, excuse me, just one minute. Get something for my fingers to get so dry. <clears throat> oh, <sighs> well, let's see. We can make all sorts of things with our blocks, can't we? Let's see what this, these little block people do. Oh, I can see something they made. Looks like a train. What do you think? 
Let's see. There they are with their blocks starting to build. There are all their blocks, all different shapes. You see the different shapes? Huh? Some are like posts and pillars. Some are rounded. And there, what did they build? They built themselves a house. But, uh-oh, what happened? What is happening? Oh, some of them must have been playing with matches and started a fire. You see the smoke? I see the flames. What are they going to do? They're taking their block house apart. And I think they're going to build something else. And look how big the fire has gotten. Uh oh, they better hurry. What are they going to build? Can you guess what they're going to build? What do they need? Ah, I think I know. Do you? It's a hook and ladder. And it's a fire truck, right? And they put the fire out. Now, what do you think they're going to do with their blocks? They don't need a fire truck anymore, do they? But look, with all that water, there's an, oh my goodness, that they used. They're floating. So what do you think they should build now? Um, they're taking apart the fire truck. What do you think they're going to build now? I think they're going to build a boat, right? boat goes in the water, right? A fire truck doesn't. But when they get to the dry land, is the boat going to go anywhere? I don't think so. So there the man is helping the lady down. And they're taking apart the boat. No. What do you think they're going to build? Something with wheels maybe that goes on the land? I think so. that. I think it's going to be a truck. Look at that. There they go. But look, the truck ran out of gas and they have to push it. So now what should they do? Well, they're taking apart the truck. They're putting something under the wheel. Well, there they are. They're building a. What do you think it's going to be? I think I guess. I think I guess. Did you guess? A train! They built a track for it to run on, and there they are building a train. But what happened? They ran out of track. And once the track stops, train can't go anywhere. No, it needs a track to run on. So what are they going to do? They're going to take apart that train. And what are they going to build now? I wonder. What do you think that they might build now? <laughs> they are building their house again. Look at that. Changes, Changes by Pat Hutchins, a great uh, prediction story. Well, <clears throat> here come the fire engines and they're going to school. But that's not really what they're in our cities for, are they? No siree. Hear the fire bell, hear the fire bell, ding, 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 ding. Hear the sirens, hear the sirens, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, shiny engine, hook and ladder, firemen running, hear them shout. Pour on water, pour on water, put the fire out. Right, there we go. So come on, help me with this. Pretend you're ringing a bell. I had a bell here and I forgot to bring it back out. I will next week. Hear the fire bell, hear the fire bell, ding, 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 ding. Hear the sirens, hear the sirens, ooh. Ah, hook 
and ladder, shiny engines, <laughs> firemen running, hear them shout, pour on water, pour on water, put that fire out. Let's see. Would you like to go for a ride? This is a great um, lap game, uh, lap ride. But also, uh, many people have rocking horses, right? So you can pretend you're on a rocking horse. Can you pretend you're on a rocking horse? Sure. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a, a brown horse. Rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. So here we go. Here we walk with Granny Jean. Pretend I'm on a rocking horse. Pretty big one, huh, for a lady like me? <laughs> Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a brown horse. Rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. And rocking horses are a lot of fun. That's right. On their feet, they have, instead of wheels, they have big rockers, like a rocking chair. <clears throat> well, I have a story today about a, what is that? Pretty big squirrel, but it's a squirrel. It has something in his paw. It looks like an acorn. And inside that acorn is a, a nut he loves to eat. And squirrels aren't really that big, but they, they, they're not too small either. And my book is today is Frisky, Frisky, Hippity Hop. And um, the photographs are by Murray Head, and it's based on a poem by Alexina B. White. And there's that squirrel. You look like someone that lives in your yard. Frisky, frisky, hippity hop. Frisky, frisky. There he is running across my yard. Hippity hop. Up he goes. Oh, and they are fast. To the treetop, twirly, twirly, round and round. Down he scampers to the ground. There he comes down. And there he is on the ground. Oh, the slickety split doesn't take him long, does it? No. Burly, burly, what a tail. Tall as a feather. Look at that, it's like a blanket to keep you warm. And broad as a sail. Look at that, that helps him jump from branch to branch, like a sort of a sail. Giggly, wiggly. Look at that, hanging on with one paw. Let's have fun. Leap and shook. A soar from shade to sun. There he is playing with his little friend. Uh oh, hawk a hunting. A big hawk play. They're big bird. They're very big birds. Oh, they like little squirrels. Can't catch me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Better watch out. Snickery trickery behind the tree. <laughs> Can't see him. Look at that. Hide and peek. Oh, I'm in my hole now. Didn't take me long to get there. What do you see? One. Two. Three. Snappity crackity, what a treat. What does he have there? I think it's a peanut. 
break the shell, ready to eat. Oh, squirrels have very sharp teeth, don't they? Scrambly, brambly, no time to rest. Making a home in a leafy nest. Look at that. Cuddly, cuddly, snuggle in tight. There he is with his little brothers and sisters. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Sound asleep in his little nest for the winter time. Tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can all my friends do? Can you, can you tell me what you can do all by yourself, huh? Let's see. Ella. Ella can sing to her baby, she just told me. Ella can sing to her baby, her baby, her baby. Ella can sing to her baby all by herself. Tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can David do? What can you do, David, all by yourself? David can brush his hair, his hair, his hair. David can brush his hair all by himself. Tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can Annie do? What can you do, Annie? You can use a fork. Annie can use a fork, a fork, a fork. Annie can use a fork all by herself. Be careful of those times, right? Those times, rather. Tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can Jackie do? What can you do, Jackie? All by yourself? <gasps> Wonderful. Jackie can put on his socks, his socks, his socks. Jackie can put on his socks all by himself. Tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can Lena do? Lena, what can you do all by yourself? Wow! Lena makes her bed, her bed, her bed. Lena makes her bed all by herself. Good job! Tell me, tell me, tell me true. Tell me what can Pierre do? Pierre can draw a picture, a picture, a picture. Pierre can draw a picture all by himself. Wow. Keep the crayons on the paper, right? Absolutely. Crayons only on the paper or whatever mommy gives you to draw, right? Absolutely. That's wonderful. We keep trying to get uh, be able to, to do things for ourselves more and more, right? Get ourselves dressed, brush our teeth, eat up our breakfast, stay at the table until you you finished your breakfast, right? Absolutely. Well, way up high in the apple tree, two red apples smile at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Ah. Oh. Down came those apples. Mm. They were good. So let's pretend we're trees. Can you get those apples up there in your tree? Uh, this arm is a little bit stiff here. Way up high in my apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came those apples. Mm, they were good. Hope you eat your fruit up. Hmm? Do you? I hope so. I hope so. I'm glad the sky is painted blue and the earth is painted green with such a nice, a lot of nice fresh air sandwiched in between. Right. So let's see if I can do that again properly. Hi. I'm glad the sky is painted blue and the earth is painted green with oh, such a lot of nice fresh air sandwiched in between. Oh my goodness, I think it's time for our bye-bye uh, song. And maybe we could sing 
a lullaby to Lama because she had a busy day today, didn't she? Yes, she did. So here we go. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird don't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a, bomb, a diamond ring. And if that diamond ring turns brass, Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass. And if that looking glass gets broke, Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat. And if that billy goat runs away, Mama's gonna buy you a brand new bed. I don't think she's asleep. Didn't take long tonight. Bye bye, everyone, and I hope you have a good week. And I hope this video worked out well for you, and you'll tell your friends if it does. And uh, maybe we'll get our, our um, followers back. So see you next week. Bye bye.